Welcome everyone to the uh, Prayer for World Peace 2022 happening here in the Christchurch Botanical Gardens. Uh, this is organized by the Canterbury Interfaith Society. Lord God of Abraham, God of the prophets, God of all peoples, God of love, you created us and call us to live as brothers and sisters. Give us the strength daily to be instruments of peace. Enable us to see everyone who crosses our path as our brother or sister. Make us sensitive to the plea of our citizens who entreat us to turn our weapons of war into implements of peace. Our trepidation into confident trust and our quarrelling into forgiveness. Keep alive within us the flame of hope so that with patience and perseverance we may opt for dialogue and reconciliation. In this way may peace triumph at last and may the words division, <laughs> hatred and war be banished from the heart of every man and woman. Lord, diffuse the violence of our tongues and our hearts. Renew our hearts and minds so that the word which always brings us together will be brother, sister, and our way of life will always be that of shalom, peace. Salam, Shanti. And I'll be reading a prayer from uh, for, on behalf of the Shia Muslim community here in Christchurch. So it's the Shia Itna Shari faith. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I'm going to be reading the prayer in English so everyone understands it. Um, uh, uh, Dear Lord, replace for me the animosity of the people of hatred with love, the envy of the people of insolence with affection, the suspicion of the people of righteousness with trust, the enmity of those close with friendship, the disrespect of home relatives with devotion, the abandonment of relatives with help, the attachment of flatterers with love set right the rejection of fellows and generous friendliness and the bitterness of the fear of wrongdoers with the sweetness of security. Uh, oh Lord, bless, bless Muhammad and his household. Adorn me with the adornments of the righteous and clothe me in the ornaments of the God-fearing God through spreading justice, restraining rage, quenching the flame of hate, bringing together the people of separation, correcting discord, spreading about good behavior. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. So this is a prayer from uh, what's called as the Psalms of Islam, which have been written by our fourth holy Imam, our spiritual leader, uh, Imam Zainul Abideen alayhi salam. Thank you. In a world where some leaders are doing enormous damage, and where we acknowledge that every person can either help or hinder the establishment of peace. We recall the words of St. Paul, that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control against such things there is no law. Let us pray. If love can make a difference, then give us love. If self-control can make a difference, then give us self-control. If kindness and forbearance can make a difference, then give us those also. 
in your goodness, O oh God, nurture in us the spiritual gifts we need to hear your call and do your will. Amen. Hello everyone, Salamun Alaikum. I'm Ali uh, from the Shia Muslim community in Christchurch. Uh, I'm going to recite a few verses of the Holy Book of Muslims, uh, Quran, which has been sent by Allah. <coughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما المؤمنون إخوة فأصلحوا بين أخويكم واتقوا الله لعلكم ترحمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعض الظن إثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموه إن الله تواب رحيم واتقوا الله إن الله تواب يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير صدق الله العلي العظيم تعال <تصفيق> Assalamu alaikum again everyone. Just going to read the translation of the verses Ali recited just now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The believers are but a single brotherhood. So make peace and reconciliation between 
your two con two brothers and fear God that you may have you may receive mercy um, O mankind we created you from a single pair of a male and female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know each other verily the most honored of you in the sight of God is is the is the most righteous of you and God has full knowledge and is well acquainted thank you Kia ora. My name is Deborah Williams and I'm a member of the Religious Society of Friends or Quakers. Our branch of Quakerism worships mostly in silence. We have no pastors, so anyone can give vocal ministry if so called. We like to leave space after that ministry so that we can absorb what has been said. We have no set prayers, but we do from time to time make statements on the six testimonies which guide our lives. Peace is one of our testimonies. Today, as our prayer for peace, I would like to read you three short paragraphs from our yearly meeting peace statement made in 1987. Afterwards, I will leave a gap of one minute silence for you to think about what I have read. I will signal the end of that silence with the Maori phrase, Peace be with you all. Yearly Meeting Peace Statement, made in 1987. We totally oppose all wars, all preparation for war all use of weapons and coercion by force, and all military alliances. No end could ever justify such means. We equally and actively oppose all that leads to violence among people and nations, and violence to other species and to our planet. This has been our testimony to the whole world for over three centuries. The primary reason for this stand is our conviction that there is that of God in everyone which makes each person too precious to damage or destroy. Kia tau te rangi marie, kia koto katoa. Tēnā koto katoa. The Reverend uh, Andrew Donaldson from the Methodist uh, community is una unable to be here at the last minute. I'm not actually a practicing Methodist myself, I'm a Roman Catholic, but I just wanted to say that there's, there's a large number of Christian denominations um, that practice their faith within Ototahi Christchurch. And um, whilst we all have slightly different names, slight differences in how we practice our faiths, and some of us have maybe a slightly different emphasis on the spirituality of, of Christianity, but we all have a belief um, in Christ Jesus, and there's much more that unites us than divides us. And so the prayer which Andrew has written could just as easily be written by a Catholic as it is by a Methodist. So I'm very comfortable in, in reading this on, on behalf of him. So, so we pray. Gentle Spirit, breathe in us the wind of truth, wisdom 
and righteousness. May your presence inspire us to create labyrinths of peace. Compassionate one, make our hearts burn with love, honouring all peoples and creation. Bless all nations, every family and community, while we seek to work for justice and unity. Prince of Peace, lead us to ways of healing and reconciliation. We pray with those who suffer and struggle. Bless us with your reconciling love that knows no boundaries as we seek to live in community with justice and in peace. So be it. Amen. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Good afternoon, everyone. I will greet you with our greetings. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. It is my pleasure to be with you every year here and participate in this very nice event. And to see all these nice faces smiling and keen to let the others to understand our message about the peace between all faces here. As a Muslim, we respect all faces and we are happy to deal with all faces. As the teaching of our Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, وَإِنْ جَنَحُوا لِلسَّلْمِ فَاجْنَحْ لَهَا وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ What it means, this ayat, this verse, if they are coming for peace, go to them and deal with them, be with them and let the all power to the Creator, to Allah. This is our significance our, as a Muslim, to understand this issue. I'm really appreciate and happy with all of you here to give this message for all the public, for all the world. We are here in New Zealand, in Christchurch. We have a people keen to spread peace between all of us. This is exactly the significance about our meeting here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our deeds and give us hidayah and tawfiq and barakah. And I will try to pray and make my invocation, my supplication to Allah humbly, and I ask Allah to accept all our deeds. So please be support me within this dua. Oh Allah, oh Allah, support us and help us and keep peace between all of us. Oh Allah, spread peace, happiness, and unity between all, all people in Christ Church and in New Zealand. Oh Allah, let our hearts soft upon each other and remove any misunderstanding between us. Oh Allah, keep this country safe from any dangers, any, anything bad. Oh Allah, support all our families, our children, our people in Christ Church to be one, to be unit. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahumma wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim ajma'in wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Thank you so much indeed. Kira, my name's Karen Simpson. I'm a Baha'i here in Christchurch. O thou compassionate Lord, O thou who art generous and able, we're servants of thine shelter beneath thy providence, Cast thy glance of favour upon us. Give light to our eyes, hearing to our ears, and understanding and love to our hearts. Render our souls joyous and happy through thy glad tidings. O Lord, point out to us the pathway of thy kingdom and resuscitate all of us through the breath of the Holy Spirit. Bestow upon us life everlasting and confer upon us never-ending honour Unify mankind and illumine the world of humanity. May we all follow thy pathway, long for thy good pleasure, and seek the mysteries of thy kingdom. O God, unite us and connect our hearts with thy indissoluble bond. Verily thou art the kind one, and thou art the almighty. I'm just here to introduce to you Venerable Geshe Nimadoji who um, is from Pende Darjeeling, the Centre uh, of Benefit and Happiness. The prayer that will be recited, it will be recited in Tibetan. 
and this prayer is written and recited to benefit all sentient beings. So we offer this as our prayer of, um, prayer of peace um, so that not only all those in New Zealand but throughout the world and all sentient beings can benefit from this. Oh,的宝,讲的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,
Dear Heavenly Father, as we look around and we looking at the flowers and the beautiful creation and how you are loving each and every one of us, all that's here, all the people that aren't here, faith and of no faith. We pray, as Nolene has said as well, that we can become more like you and throw away the barriers that we have within us that prevent us from becoming more like you. So I pray this um, in our Heavenly Parents' name, amen. Uh, this is the International Prayer for Peace. Lead me from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead me from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead me from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our heart, our world, our universe. Thank you. 